Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in. If you're new, come join me. I am doing a reading for Cancer for the end of May. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and check in with you guys and see what you got going on. So Cancer, I'm going to start off with the Celtic Cross for your love spread. And then at the end, I'll do a, a short blurb about your career and finances. If you feel like this video resonates with you and you like this content, you like the vibe, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below, share with your friends. All right, Cancer, let's see what we got going on in love. This is for the collective, so not all these messages will resonate with everybody. Spirit guides, vanilla ancestors, I am eternally grateful for your guidance. Show me what I need to see for Cancer. Oh. Dang, Libra just came out with this too. I just did Libra as they have five of pentacles too. Everybody's feeling left out in the cold. You might be in a poverty mind state right now. But since this is love, I'm going to go ahead and say that somebody might have walked away from you or you might have walked away from someone. What's the challenge for Cancer? You might have given up on the situation or you feel like you want to give up on the situation. Nine of Wands. This might be a real burden for you. Show me the foundation and what's supporting this reading. Okay, we got Temperance as the star. Temperance is calling for someone to have patience, um, somebody to be able to balance. And then you have the star also supporting this reading. So this is you healing or coming into alignment with your wish. But seeing how these other cards are up here, this star card for me, with the temperance is telling me that you're healing right now. You're trying to find some type of equilibrium within yourself. Okay, I don't know what that was, but it wasn't a shuffle, so <laughs> we're going to leave that alone. Show me the past, the recent past for cancer. <clears throat> you got the three of wands. In the past, you were waiting for somebody to come back to you or something to come in for you, someone. Maybe a new opportunity in love. Or maybe a second chance in love. Show me what's crowning the spread. Ooh, the Seven of Cups. This could stand for somebody having multiple options in love. This can also stand for some type of confusion or not knowing what to do. Um, some disillusions about what's really going on in the situation. Somebody might have been trying to play games with you. Show me the near future for Cancer. Ooh, yeah. oh my goodness. Yeah, somebody was being sneaky, lying, thieving, or they they will be, or you're going to find out that this is what was going on. I'm feeling like you might have already found out that this was going on. Or you already might have felt like this was going on, which is why you're coming off from now as the five of coins. Show me how Cancer is viewing themselves. Two again. <clears throat> Ooh, you viewing yourself as the independent lover? <laughs> so, uh, you're viewing yourself as somebody who can do with or without love. It's um, Maybe you're not looking for anything stable right now. Maybe you're just looking for to be a lover or just a lover. Let me see how everyone else is viewing you or your environment. What's going on in the environment around cancer? The Eight of Wands. You want some type of communication from someone. Or you're going to be reaching out to someone. Show me the hopes and fears for cancer. Hmm. You want longevity. Even though you're coming off as independent here, you want something that's stable committed or maybe you're fearing commitment and stability with someone 
because you're viewing yourself here as independent. You want love still. You want someone. You're going to communicate that. You're going to reach out for that. People are expecting you to reach out. This is your environment right now. And then you have the Ten of Coins. We're going to have to clarify that. And show me the outcome. Show me the outcome for Cancer. The Queen of Cups. You're emotional. You're sensitive about the situation. There might be some uncertainty about what you truly want here. Definitely need balance and healing. <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is crackling. Oh, pardon me. Oh, okay. Let's clarify these because I'm a little bit confused. I'm going to use my sexual magic tarot deck. So this does have some nudity in it. So if you guys don't want to see nudity, avert your eyes. All right, show me the five of coins. Why is cancer feeling left out in the cold? The chariot. You had to overcome something. You had to overcome something in order to move to victory. Show me the nine of wands. What's the burden? Why is this the challenge? For Cap, I mean Capricorn. I was about to say Capricorn, but I meant Cancer. Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. You want a new opportunity. You are wanting a new opportunity, a new chance at love. I feel like that you're fighting with yourself about this. Show me the star and temperance. Why are these two here and together? What is this healing and balance that is needed? The high priestess. Yes. So the deep down, there is some hidden emotions, some hidden things that you're needing to balance here. You might be telling yourself that you're independent, that you just want to love her. But deep down inside, you know that you need to balance and heal from a past situation. Show me the three of wands. The nine of pentacles, again. So maybe you were waiting for your independence here to come in. Maybe you were waiting for something for you to be independent. You don't, you didn't want to have to depend on anybody in the recent past. Hmm. Cancer, I am so confused right now. What do you want? Do you want love or do you not want love? I'm, I'm so lost. What do you want? Seven of Cups. Show me the Seven of Cups. Your energy is so wishy-washy right now. King of Wands. You're going after something. Your options. You're going after clarity. I feel like you're tired of being confused. Maybe you don't even know what you want. I'm, I don't know what's going on here. Hold on. Somebody's calling me. Sorry about that, Cancer. Somebody decided to start calling right while I was recording. So, Whew. so yeah, basically we're back to being confused <laughs> over here. Let me see what's going on in the near future with the Seven of Swords. Why is there some sneaky, mistrusting behavior happening in the near future with Cancer? You got the Four of Swords. So maybe you're giving all the sneaky stuff a rest? You're resting, trying to get away from sneaky behavior? Oh, the lovers. I was like, wasn't there another card right here? Okay. Ew. Just a little dust. I was just a little dust, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, the strength card. So, you're trying to be strong and independent, but what? I feel like you really just want somebody. You want somebody to be there for you. You've been through a lot. You're trying to heal. <clears throat> Show me the Eight of Wands. What's this communication about? You don't know how to say what it is that you want. You 
you're trying to hide what it is that you truly want. Three of Swords. Damn. You don't know how to communicate about your heartbreak. You don't know how to explain to other people that you're still hurting. Show me the Ten of Coins. What is this for? Okay. The Magician. You're trying to manifest stability, longevity, commitment. Show me the Queen of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. <clears throat> You're very sensitive right now because you don't know if it's the right time for you to move forward with another commitment. I feel like something in the past really broke your heart. You're feeling left out in the cold. You're feeling burdened. But you are being given another opportunity that you want to move towards in love. But you're unsure. You have your independence here twice. You want you you want to be, you think you'll be okay being by yourself, but deep down inside with the high priestess here, that's not what you truly want. You want something for the long term, I feel like. And it's coming. You got the Ace of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. That's letting me know that it is coming. Let me get you some romance angels here. It's just confusing because it's coming off like this is not something you do want. But you're just not expressing that you're still heartbroken somewhat. You're not communicating that. Hmm. You're coming off and trying to come off as somebody who's okay being by themselves. <clears throat> Spirit guides, when I'm the ancestors for cancer, show me what I need to see. Retreat. Oh, you want to get away. You might need a vacation. Reconciliation. Uh, I don't know why that's there. Maybe you want to reunite with somebody. It says somebody from your past is returning back to your life. Uh-oh, and you might want to get away with this person. I don't feel like this is the same thing that you're heartbroken about, though. What else? Finances and career. You might not be financially able to pursue the endeavors that you want to pursue in order for you to meet the person that you want to meet. Romantic feelings. Yeah, I feel like you're really trying to hold that back and, you know, keep those pushed down that you want something new again. You want a new beginning. You want a new beginning, a new commitment, something for the long term. Oh, Lord, I feel sad now. All right, let's look into your finances really quick and see what's going on there. at the bottom of the deck. Good news. It's coming in. You are supported right now by the universe. They're bringing you good fortune. After your heartache, you're going to be given a new opportunity in love. It's not over. That's what I just heard. It's not over. Because baby, it ain't over till it's old. Look, don't be talking about how old I am. <laughs> Alright, show me what I need to see for career and finances for cancer. Oh. Boy, I tell you, <laughs> you're being given a new opportunity here. 
you rushing towards something. This new opportunity. Something igniting your passions. Oh my God. Libra just got this too. Definitely. You, the, the, you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. So yeah, there's definitely something new coming in for you. If this is to do with your finances, which is supposed to be, I feel like opportunity is a knocking. What else? I, and I feel like you know it is too. Yeah, your finances are going to be leveling up here. They're moving up with these new opportunities that are coming in for you. You might have started like some type of side hustle or... New money. That's just what I'm saying. New money. The Nine of Cups. This is your wish fulfillment. You're going to be celebrating here with these new opportunities that are coming in for you. Yes, a wake up call is happening here. You're becoming aware of what's going to make you stable here, financially secure. Level up, leveling up. That's just what I keep saying. Leveling up, leveling up, level up, level up. <laughs> you got the emperor. What are bossing up? The emperor with the hierophant? What the hell? This is being guided. The universe has your back right now, Cancer. King of Wands again. So you are definitely being assertive and going after what it is that you want here, or you will be. Once you get these um, two opportunities that come in for you, you're going to be shaking and moving, moving and shaking. Um, there might be something unexpected that happens or something that you're still worrying about when it comes to your finances. Not finances. No, um, that's not what I'm... I can't get it out. <laughs> this Mercury retrograde. I swear to God, I can't get it out. It's something that you don't want to... After you do this leveling up with your finances, there's still going to be something that's holding you back a little bit. I feel like. Even though there's so much stuff here to celebrate, like you're going to be celebrating a lot. But something's still going to be holding you back a little bit. Queen of Wands, you got the King and Queen of Wands on the board. You are coming into direct alignment with what is yours and what is meant for you. And the universe at this time is assisting you in your finances to make sure that you get what you need and what you want. Your wish fulfillment. So don't worry about finances right now, Cancer. Everything is lining up for you. But whatever this uh, Five of Cups is, you're going to have to let that go. You're, you can't let that hold you back from moving forward. I don't think that it will, but you might make a bigger deal about it than what it really is. All right, let me get you some... Uh, oh, that don't even go there. Let me get you some angel answers really quick. For the final advice for cancer. Final advice for cancer. For the end of May. Opportunity. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? You have some new opportunities coming in for you. Definitely. Whatever's holding you back, don't let it hold you back. That's a no. Say no. Learn how to say no. Ooh. The situation will improve. Your finances will improve. Meditation bring answers, brings answers.
All right, Cancer, that's all I have for you. You might need to take some time out um, and see what it is that you really want to do. But you're going to have opportunities coming in for you. Trust that financial opportunities coming in that are going to bless your situation and make you more stable. If you feel like this message resonated with you, Cancer, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, comment down below your situation if this resonated. Um, share with your friends. Subscribe. Uh, to help get these messages out, help my channel grow. Um, I really appreciate you guys. I hope you come back again.